I am back and with some more Mass Effect, we are on episode 15 of the Legendary Edition, um, and we're going to continue on, um, as always really, um, I can't remember where we got to last episode, um, kind of blanking, um, um, what did we do last time? I think we did some size stuff, I reckon. Uh, I can't remember. Um, let's have a look. Bell me. Ferris get the day. Mm. Oh yeah, Cerberus. I was gonna go and do the Cerberus mission, that's kinda cool. Yeah, we'll go do that, Cerberus. Um, so go to Yanta. Yang Tai's system in the Volgus Kuzluster and investigate so Yeah, we'll go do that. Unless I'm already here, but Is that where we need to go? Let me just check. Double check. I, I wish I could look in my journal from the map. <laughs> It'd be so handy. Yenta Yeng Voyager, yeah, okay. Cause it's a it's the um It's related to the Cerberus, so this is like really big for Mass Effect 2 and stuff. So let's go check this out. Um, Yank ties. We could go here. Amazon. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't really want to go to Amazon. Let's check out Amazon. Me, Amazon. Destroying Lord of the Rings for agenda. Fuck them. <laughs> um. Commander, incoming signal from Fifth oh. Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. The war's over. What difference does it make? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand this must be handled. But I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. It's in the Voyager Cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian Space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. <clears throat> Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. Okay. I guess we'll do this in Cerberus. Oh, that's a cool looking planet. Um, yeah, because I've been playing a, a bit of No Man's Sky, some of the planets in that are really cool. And I said in the No Man's Sky series that No Man's Sky feels like Mass Effect, this game, on steroids. Like, the, with the planet exploration side of things, because they kind of got a similar aesthetic of, like, basicness of it looking um, but it's kind of just got a similar vibe to it 
way you're traveling around and stuff like that. Um, um, and then, but No Man's Sky is like on steroids compared to it, though. Um, yeah, let's let's go. Let's see. This is a cool looking planet, though. Um, Cause like in the recent episode that was in last rotation, uh, we went to this really mountainous planet, and it was so cool looking. Cause the mountains were like at Mount Everest, but throughout the whole planet, it was so cool looking. Um, and that was just one of how many planets we might come across with different things happening, and it's just cool. Like, oh, let's go with. Yeah, let's go with these two. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to get more into that series. And yeah, I'll repeat myself, but in this rotation, there won't be Ma Minecraft, but Dying Light. Um, decided I'm going to play through Dying Light. Because <laughs> um, it's been okay with, um, no, um, with Minecraft, but... Yeah, just Dying Light, I feel like, will be a good series, so... Um, later today will be State Decay. Then tomorrow and the day after, in the evening, should be Dying Light then. Um, and we'll alternate per rotation between Dying Light and No Man's Sky. Um, um, that's just how I think it'll work well. Um, but we'll see. Right. So, Home Alliance. Guess we'll just loop around a bit. But yeah, like, just the vibe of Dying State, um, No Man's Sky. It just feels like this. Like, I kind of get, I'm looking forward to getting certain things like vehicles and things like that in No Man's Sky because it's just going to add so much more to the planet exploration and um because I'm kind of looking forward to being an expedi expositionist in that I think that's what you call it you know where people just explore that's kind of what I'm looking for in that series and so far it's been working out rather well um uh I haven't had too many roadblocks like at, at, at the minute I'm still in the stage of the game where I'm kind of building up still. Um, I we still haven't got a hyperdrive. Well, no, we put the hyperdrive in, but we just need to fuel it up. Um, so probably by next episode we'll be jumping to different galaxies and stuff. So it's took a, took a, about four episodes. So and it might take us a few episodes to a planet, uh, or well, maybe a few. Um, Episodes per galaxy, maybe, which would be good. Like that, that'll show. Like that'll give it the series a bit more longevity, really. Because I was kind of worried, like, I might get bored. But it all depends on what sort of galaxy we come across. Hopefully, we get lucky where I want to keep exploring. But hopefully, we don't keep coming across bland, flat pieces of rock. I hope we get some new stuff. And um. I would love to be able to buy, uh, I would love to be able to um, try the, um, get the Normandy, because I know that you can get that in the game, but I'm still not 100% sure how you do it, and whether you, you can anymore, it's probably like a special event, especially when it came, I think it came just before this came out, so it was probably just promotional, so the only time I would probably say it'd come back is if they were able to bring it back, or if, um, Mass Effect 4 is fight like getting to the end stage of its release. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Antique. Activate your girl, of course. Okay. I need to get used to the controls. <laughs> I've been playing too. That's the problem. Um. Like, even though I want to play all these games, every game has so many different controls. <laughs> so I've kind of got warming up to every game when I load up now. 
most of them are kind of basic though, like state of decay and um, stuff, but yeah. Not every game has the exact same button layout like you want it to. <laughs> Elon Musk dying on a dying on Mars that he wants to so have you heard about Elon Musk he wants to he wants to go to um, run everybody he wants to go to um, uh, he wants to be able to be taken to Mars and go there um, which for me, like, uh, I, and, and if he dies there, he'd be happy. And when you think about that, you kind of think, yeah, yeah, it would be, I'd like, be terrifying. And you don't want to die on Mars, but if you did, it's a bit more interesting than being dug, like, shoved in the dirt like every other man, woman, and child. Like, dying on another planet. I know another planet's a whole new thing. Um, I'm, no one's died on Mars or the moon, I don't think. Wow. So they say. <laughs> could have fucking had aliens on the first encounter. They could fake it, but... Should have probably used that, but let's go down there. Um, but yeah, um, I spoke about it in State Decay. Uh, about I spoke a little bit about Russia and their invasion in it's been kind of crazy to watch that sort of thing happening um, like they've done it before but this is like different like this is full on we're gonna take your shit and we're not gonna do it about it like people are fighting for their lives right now um, I don't know how it I don't know how um, uh, it is when this is up on YouTube. We might all have been enslaved by now. <laughs> or we all might be off fighting. Yeah. Um, it's just fucked up. I've seen a video of this tank running over a car. As like this guy was trying to get out of the country, I guess. Or I don't know why he was doing this old guy. And a tank ran it, just, he just drove over the car like nothing. Um, and backed over it as well. Um, but the, the guy in the car survived somehow, amazingly. The old guy survived it. Which just shows how shit the Russian tanks are if you go fucking kill someone in a car. <laughs> Run them down, like... Uh, like, really, they should have died, though. Like, it's just insane footage. That like it's just it makes you feel. <laughs> it's horrible because everyone's just moving. Like I'm doing this right now. Um. I, f for me though, uh, anyone watching, would you actually want to fight for your country right now with the way? I I I don't know whether I would want to fight for half the people in my country. I'd fight for my family and everything. I, that's what I would fight for. Um. I kind of want to go down here before I go back, but, um, but you think about how everyone's treated one another in the UK, Europe, America, where we've been so divided on every little thing, where people have tore down statues of our history just because people are offended, and they're the sort of people we're meant to like defend if we go to war. We're meant to be patriotic to some of these people. 
when they've been disrespectful to my grandfathers that fought in World War Two and One and ancestors that built up the country that we live in take for granted every day. You know? I like, sure there's fucked up people in the but the way some people have behaved in the past few years, it's like when patriots patriotism for like America, England, it's been destroyed. You can't be patriotic anymore. You can't be proud of your country anymore. You've got to be offended of your country now. So, most of these people that have been de-nationalised, I guess, and people that used to be proud of the country are not proud anymore. So when we go, if we if we end up got dragged into a war, it just makes you think how many people would be invested in fighting for the people, like the whole country. Like that's one thing people used to fight for in Mobile One and Two. They fought for the whole country, as well as their families and everything. But they fought because they were proud of their country. They wanted to fight for their country. And you see that in Ukraine, like the people in Ukraine, like you see that. They're proud of their country, they want to fight, um, but then they want to leave as well, to right, but um, a part of me is like, could you imagine modern day America, modern day Britain, going out and fighting for their country? I think France would, I think France isn't that far gone, like, us. I think UK might be okay, I think the problem is, Twitter is a lot, whole lot different than real life. Real life people, they don't give a fuck about what's going on. They'll live their life the way they want to. Like, like now, people have just got on with their lives. They've forgot about COVID. Like, COVID's like nothing anymore. When you look at people just behaving. Like, I work in a restaurant and people are just acting normal and being happy, living their lives. And it's like, we, we wasted two years doing fuck all, worrying about one disease when we've got God knows how many and we could die from anything um, and now we've cleared it up a little bit more and we've got this vaccine and there's still sanctions like look at Canada and stuff it's just fucking mental guys um, but I'm gonna enjoy every second of Canada like doing videos and playing games <laughs> and enjoy life what I can because any moment now we could be called up to go and kick some Russian ass. <laughs> or more, more than likely, like the way you'd be doing the sanctions right now, we're, pra pra we're practically taking the knee. Because if I was Russia, I'd be like <laughs> laughing my head off. Because <laughs> let's be honest, putting these sanctions in, like sure, Russia needs money, but I was talking about it in my State of the Day video. Do you really think Russia gives a fuck about money right now? They've got a higher purpose than money. And economics. They want to get their country back the way it used to be. Which can be more which can be more said than what we want from our country. We want to tear down our country. Well, most, most people want to tear down our country and uh, destroy our history and stuff. Like that's what we're busy in. We're destroying our legacy and we ain't got a high purpose of making our country better or stronger or improving our military. Like, that's long gone. Um, like, Trump was trying to do, like, you saw Trump, he was, like, sure, I disagree with some stuff Trump was doing and said, and, but at least he was trying to make America, he was trying to make, make America great again, and I don't get the problem with people thinking what he wanted to do was wrong, like, there was truth in what he wanted to do, and he did prove it, like, he went for four years without trouble, he shook hands with Kim Jong-un and Putin on multiple occasions to make it fair and avoid conflict, he went around avoiding conflict, everyone thought he was going to cause World War 3 in a day, Putin's, in Biden's government, He's practically letting more happen because he can't keep... <laughs> like, Putin's laughing at him, pretty much. That, that's just the way it is. And I, Like, would you want to fight for... Like, UK and America have been allies for donkeys. Like, 
the French brothers on our arms, but I don't know whether the UK would want to fight for Biden. I don't know whether America would want to fight for <laughs> Boris Johnson, but there might be a point where we have to. And it's like, do, do our countries have the motivation to do that? When we're too worried, in the UK, we're worried about our national anthem being too offensive. It's like, there's no patriotism anymore, or being proud of your country, and getting, like being better from your history as well, like improving your like um, history from racism and stuff, and like not ignore it, but just move past it and work together and. And, like, if you're going to work hard, you're going to get into high positions, whether you're black, white, Asian, small, <laughs> disabled. Like, if you're dedicated, you can get to any position. you just got to work at it. And you can't just get a free handout. Like, that's just not life is. Like, I want to do graphic design so badly. But right now, I'm working in the kitchen because that's all I've got to make money. That's what I want. That's what I need to do to keep going. Um, but when I get a second chance to go back into graphic design or go back into art and creative industry, I'm going to do it. Um, and people need to think like that because you're going to be living on the shore and getting just barely getting by. But if you want to be successful, you, you're going to strive for it sooner That's or later. This smells. Yeah, this thing um, didn't crash. Yeah. Somebody moved it here. The grasp of the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down there. Check your corners and watch your back. Right. Um, but yeah, sorry for that political speech, but... Like, state, Mass Effect is kind of very political sometimes, isn't it? About right. <laughs> We're at war with the Reapers. It's very similar to Russia. <laughs> you think about it, yeah, because... Mother Russia is the giant, the sleeping giant sort of thing, and the Reapers are legit sleeping right now on the outer rim of space, <laughs> ready to come in and wipe us all out. <laughs> it's gonna be husks or something. Last time we got dumped by husks. I'm gonna be backstabbed. I think I'll save. There would be way more people than this right now, surely. <coughs> That's locked up. Someone just screwed us. <laughs> Shepard, at last. You have me at a disadvantage. You don't remember me. <laughs> no matter. I remember you. I never forget anyone I fought. My name is Ilanos Helliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, Criminals of every stripe? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. <laughs> the strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. You organized the attack on Elysium. You want me to thank you for my Star of Terra? I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed. Failed because of you. Your damnable holding action.
You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. Now what? We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. See if there's anything in here we can use. Is that it? <laughs> this is the slowest bomb ever. Oh. Done. Doesn't really look like a bomb, it looks like every other satellite we scan. We're gonna get jumped on the outside, ain't we? Should probably leave it, because they could probably just. Oh, yeah, look, we caved in. Ah, interesting. Is that it? Really? Fascinating. It will be weird if um, we're right near the Norman, the Nomad. That won't make sense. Oh yeah. Wow, actually, well we don't need them. Um... Ah, oh, that makes sense. Okay. Um, I was going to say... Why is it right? Oh, that's where we are. Okay. Right, is there any... Engage probe, escape. Escape from the tap of Helia has left you. If possible, take down Hella as well. How do I do that? Can I get over there? I wonder if I can go back in there. Oh, this is very uh, No Man's Sky right now. Um, I'd love a, like, a... Uh, for me, I would love to get a helmet for Master Chief and, like, the, the M7 helmet. Like, I think you can get them. Um, I still want to get a, a Lucille for, from The Walking Dead. I've been really dying to get one of them. Um, Uh, well, I've been meaning to make one myself, but um, I've been looking into like. Wow, well, I think it'd be cheaper to make it by myself. I think I could probably get second hand stuff and make my own Lucille and personalize it then. Um, but. Oh, you know what I would do for a war? <laughs> it was that bad and we really really needed the men. Just chuck a load of psycho 
murderers. I mean, never <laughs> see out there. Can you imagine, like, um, oh, like, can you imagine, um, Like, could you imagine them? Um, uh, what was it? Um, Heads up. <laughs> what the fuck is it? I don't even a moan for. Like, they kind of distracted me. So I assume they are not back in there, but I think we'll double check. Is, unless there's any other... I don't know whether there is any other locations. Crash vehicle. Turian wreckage. Mercenary camp. Engine debris. Hmm. Oh, it'd be stupid if he's still in here, though. Like, if he if he's still here, that'd be stupid. Sorry, I was talking about something and then I blanked. I really forgot what I was talking about. I don't think he would be back here. Surely. Yeah. Good. I was gonna say, maybe take him back off, and we'll probably find them then. Maybe. Right, so like, like that whole dialogue with that guy, it was kind of like super villainish, as if I was the villain almost. <laughs> it was like a proper super villain um, trap, like blowing up me in a cave and me trying to break out. Bit of a Batman moment. Well, the Batman's coming out soon. I think that might be a good film. We might finally get a good film of that. Because the trailers haven't looked too bad with that. There's been one or two moments in the trailers that were a bit wokey. And a bit annoying, but... Uh, Catwoman looks kind of sexy, and she doesn't look... Like, it's like... Hang on, where is my... Nomad as well. It isn't like, um... <laughs> they could have done an SDW Catwoman where she's like 500 pounds and overweight and <laughs> fucking pink hair. Like they could have done that with a Catwoman and going stupid, but yeah, like this Batman looks kind of cool. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they do that. But um, that's only a few weeks away for me. Like by the time this is out on YouTube. I think it would be, um, I think by the time this is up on YouTube, hang on. How do I get to the Nomad? Where is my nomad anyway? Oh, here we go. We can return from here. That's weird. I was trying to fucking get return to the nomad from my guy. But you can't. I don't know where my nomad went though. Guy went then. Um, escape the from the habitat. Left you. If possible, take down Hell as well. Where, 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 where? Did he say where he was going? Huh? 
the land see. So I weren't sure what... Unless it was at one of the other camps, maybe? The bit tricks and... Um... Drax in that will it a bit. I don't know why I keep saying Drax, it's Rex. <laughs> I don't know why Drex is in my head. That's a drama, like, how am I remembering that more than Rex? <laughs> it's, they've got just identical needs, that's why. Crash vehicle. Torium wreckage. Mercenary camp, is that it? Because they were it, they were freaking out, weren't they? They were freaking out a little bit, weren't they? They were like, oh, heads up, sort of thing. Maybe heading down there is a good idea. I know I said I'd do the Cerberus mission, but it might be next episode. <laughs> Depends on how low this is. up to him <laughs> it ended like that for him but at least now above ground you suit your suit radio has re-established connection with the Normandy time to get out of <laughs> what? what the fuck I did that differently didn't I he's then gone I don't know where I did meant to play. Okay, so I was here. I was meant to snipe him from. Ah, I never did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did that wrong. <laughs> right, let's go do the Cerberus mission then. Because uh, at least that's done now. <laughs> Only I would do that. Well, let's go back then. <laughs> but at least we did it. We actually probably did it the smart way. Is it kind of broke immersion then where <laughs> I was able to come back to the Normandy to go back down. <laughs> it's kind of lucky the mission didn't reset or completely wipe out or glitch out. And I got lucky with that. There's no other galaxies here, is there? Right, okay, let's go see Cerberus then. Instead of leaving it for the next episode, that's stupid. Stupid, mate. Stupid. 
Right, um... So, okay, that's a landable planet. Let's survey these ships. I swear in the original game it told you how much you've surveyed it of the galaxy so you could figure out how much left is there to discover. Well that might be Mass Effect 2. Breathing data disk. If anyone wants to read it, they can pause. <laughs> I can't be asked. <laughs> Planet exploration, let's go. Let's go fuck up Cerberus. No talk no talks of um the council or um the citadel about us our victory against the terrorist. Right, um Cerberus. Liara would be good. Ashley. I might connect to future games, maybe. I oh, know, I should have done Garrus, maybe. Should be alright. Research facility. Research facility. Okay. But yeah, like you could, like you definitely see in the terrain style of this. It's very similar to uh, No Man's Sky. It's like a really like a budget version of No Man's Sky. The sad thing is they probably designed these maps over than them being like randomly generated like in No Man's Sky. <laughs> but like after playing No Man's Sky, like you think about like I was talking about it in that series, but No Man's Sky is crazy because essentially they've created a whole galaxy. And it makes you think, who made our galaxy, you know? Like, who, who is outside our simulation? It kind of trips you out when you start thinking about how crazy games have got, how realistic they've got. And I like the explosions of the tourists, they look really good. Save it. <laughs> Only thing with these tunnels is that they look the same. Are they really like a desert rock underneath when they probably look should look something different? You might be able to get away with this planet, but when it's like an ice planet, instead of it being like ice, it's like
Ah, come here. Sit down. Headshot. What are they? Are they, um... What was they? Were they, um... What are they called? Um... Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Commander. Were they, um... Right now, I, I didn't read the tag until it disappeared. How the fuck have they got right now? They look like the little uh, infected, infected um, little babies that we got attacked before. I might be wrong. Probably wrong. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I remember the, like, the elusive man and stuff like that. Man. Mass Effect's awesome. <laughs> like the lore and the world building is so good. Let's go run there. Maybe go run there and back up this way and then back around. Or maybe just go to the next one. <laughs> that looks like um, the Death Star. Star Wars. And you got the same circle in the middle. Backwards for. I'm just trying to spin round in. <laughs> nice. Let's just go down there. Check out the anomaly as well. I I think did they reference it in Mass Effect 2 that like this sort of mission? That's the first time they really took notice of um Shepard and why they thought he, he was the only one? Because I think Cerberus are, are like on the same level of um, the Reapers from this stage. I think. I, I, I don't know whether they're as mad as. Like, I don't think their completely goals are completely changed in Mass Effect Two, just because of different um, thing, but. Oh yeah, this is the planet with pyramids. Check out that pyramid. Yeah, like I remember they're coming across these planets. And they kind of freaked me out a little bit. It's like you randomly come across a pyramid in the middle of nowhere, it's kind of creepy. You wonder how big this thing is. This might just be the tip, you yeah? know? It's covered up by stone. I 
thing I pressed the wrong button then, but for some reason it registered the right one. Cool. It's like, can you imagine it? Like, say we human race got wiped out. And then you had another human a race. Like, say another race came to our planet, like an alien race. And they found pyramids, they'd be like, who lived here before? Like, all the skyscrapers we have and things. Um, like, you'd think any creatures that are space travel worthy and they get to us, they're more than likely got something similar to cities and things like that, maybe. Or, I was thinking the other day, if we, if we focused our priorities on besides our own planet, we probably would have been up. Multiple, like we would have been beyond the stars right now, I reckon. If you think about it, like if we didn't fuck about after World War Two, and like with the whole progression of technology through getting to the moon, like we shouldn't have stopped at the moon. We should have been beyond the stars by right now. I know the technology was rough then, but we still made it to the moon. You know. And with how fast technology was changing and has changed, we should be beyond the stars right now. I know it's all about fuel and stuff, but how much fuel we've wasted in the meantime? Not really thinking about what we want to do with space travel, but really, we need a backup plan. Because, like, you think about it, if bombs start going off with Russia and everything, or like the nasty bombs that we don't want going off. Human race needs a backup farm for when we start killing one another. Yeah, it's the black guy. Why are they? How have they got them then? They must have been working with. Guys, that would be. I'm dead. Ah, uh, dickhead. Ow. Help me. Shit, <laughs> Leo. Look, Leo, I can't aim for shit. <laughs> That's it. Ready, guys? I wonder what monstrosity Cerberus has been cooking up at the next base. No, yeah, bloody right now. Bastards. I think I older them. Probably a few of them. <laughs> Probably be nothing. Gonna be nothing. Good team though. They are in um, Ashley. Good work.
Mm. Yeah, because we'll wrap up in a bit. So I can do the next video. Once we've done this. Um, so yeah, it's on to the last facility. There's probably a few more things I missed, like... Because if we found minerals on this planet before, we'll probably be more... I kind of wish they would just show everything instead of you missing stuff, but I get it. It means that it encourages you to explore a bit more. But you're still just looking at the mini-map though anyway, until you find something. Like if they added, if they had it so that it was like No Man's Sky where you had like binoculars and you had to actually scan for stuff, probably would have been better, but... Does the job, I guess. You'll find what you find. Missiles popping off. Yeah. What did I miss? Yeah, I don't know whether anyone watches Bold and Bankrupt. Uh, but he does like. I've been watching him for a while and he used to do. I used to travel all over Russia and Ukraine and stuff. So I've been wondering what has happened to him. Because like, he was an interesting user. He, he, he's not done daily videos like he has since he had COVID. And the Russian government helped him. Because I think someone went to the Russian government when he fell ill. And because I think Russia was prioritizing their own people, really. Like a lot of countries were. Uh, but because someone from the government went to higher government to and said that this guy uh, promotes our country really well and nicely uh, through his videos and through our history that's why he was given like really high-end help and treatment so and but since he had COVID he's not been too crazy because I guess he's recovering still from COVID um, but because he's traveled like, all over the Europe and everything like that, especially Russia. I'm really interested to see what he's doing right now. Um, oh, husks. Okay, that makes sense. It's weird they've got husks. Ah, why do I keep getting paralyzed? <laughs> Damn it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Shepard. Get up, you lazy cunt. <laughs> Gotta make sure that doesn't Get happen up. again. Eat yeah. this. <laughs> oh my god, he's fucked. Guys, Should 
Game over. How do you like it? You do it to me. Why are they? They look different. No, they're husks, so. Let's get the shotty out. Ew! Disgusting! One last stop to make, Commander. We owe Kahoku that much. Thank you. Cool. Job done. Making all that shit. Fuck Cerberus. Yes, that's it. Very well. Oh, and we level up. Good. Um, intermediate, take that. Um, first aid. Medicine. Proves recharge time up. Uh, that might be pretty good. Start getting into. Uh. <sighs> they are told to Right. I guess I could end it here, really. Yeah, we'll end it here. Oh, hang on. <sighs> you check for a post but find none. Anmukratagi Karotu is dead. S despite the ferocity of the creatures, he was sealed with sealed in with there are no signs of trauma on his corpse. The need needle marks on him suggest different means of execution. Oh goddess. Mm. It's Admiral Kahoku. Cerberus must have tracked him down. Guess that's the time to end. Admiral Kroku. Is that the guy that I had not fallen out with? Wonder if his eyes are open. Fucking morbid, isn't it? <laughs> Jeffrey, don't give a fuck. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna go in a minute. <laughs> it's just a bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? You've gone through shit. What? What are you bruised up for? Give me you, what sort of weird shadows? There we go. Yeah, that'll be a good. Yeah, that, that's a good end shot. Um, but yeah, I think I'll wrap it up here for today, and then next time we'll continue right where we left off, and we'll. Uh, crack on. Uh, I thought there'd be more to Cerberus, but really, yeah, Cerberus doesn't fully kick in until the second game. This is more of just an Easter egg in a way. Because um, I assume that when they were thinking about Mass Effect 2 and 3, they probably didn't think about Cerberus at all. Um, until they thought, actually, maybe... Well, until Shepard died, they probably thought, hang on, shit, we're fucked. We can't... Cerberus might be a good alternative to bring him back, because... Um, well, Cerberus died in the second game, so 
Cerberus, <laughs> like, uh, it's a bit weird, like, it would have been a bit more, in I, I don't know, it would have been a, a, a weird one if Shepard died in the first game and then they resurrected him in the second game. Because when he died in the second game, I was like, whoa, like, it was such a different, I wasn't expecting it. Um, so I'm looking forward to, like, replaying that, because I've got, like, a different aspect on the Cerberus now, and I, I think... Originally, I was a bit more lenient to think, oh, yeah, like, I don't mind working for them. I did give them a bit of back talk now and then, but I, I felt like they were better to work for than um, the council. Um, so they give you a lot more freedom, I think, what I felt like, but um, I don't know, it's been a while. It'll be different having another set of eyes play through it sort of thing. Um, but yeah, for today, um, I, I think that'll do. It's been a good time with um, Mass Effect as always. It's been a good series to keep going. Um, and like I said, um, tomorrow evening will be some Dying Light starting up. I know that I've started up a lot of new series, and especially like Minecraft, not continue it really for a while. At least it's there, you know. Like that's what I'm thinking, and I think Dying Light will be something that we can finish. It'll be a nice series when we complete it, and it'll probably lead into Dying Light 2, which is more of a more modern, new game that I haven't played before, and it'll be something that I want to play. Um, and, yeah, I just look forward to it, and because it's going to be a while before we get into a game that I haven't played before. Because um, I've played No Man's Sky, I've played State of Decay, and um, things like that, but I might, I'm, I'm, and uh, when we get finished Odyssey, we're going to go into Origins, which I played. The only thing I haven't done in Origins is the DLCs, which I bought. Um, and then we're going to go into Valhalla, which I haven't played. So it's going to be a while before I get into a game that I haven't fully played, like a new game. So I'm thinking, like, going through Dying Light, which I've played more hundreds of times. Um, but eventually getting to Dying Light 2 would be, at least there's something new to look forward to, I think. Um, and with me having work and stuff, it's more possible. Like, sure, um, eventually it's going to get slower for videos, where it's every other day, because I think after this rotation, next rotation, I might have to do that. Um, or I might do it so that one rotation I might do on off days, and then the rotation I have to squeeze it back together to four days, sort of thing, if I can. Um, it all depends on the week and day, I think. Um, now if I can I might do the next rotation four days in a row again but I'll have to think about the end of next week how it is and what's happening with that because um, I've got um, I'm essentially working all week next from tomorrow from Sunday to Friday every day um, five till midnight so I'm going to be rather tired by the end of the week but I've got the weekend off so I'll probably have time to do videos then but that's why I'm thinking if I only have two days off a week um, then I'll only have time to do four days of videos, I think. Um, it's just going to be a bit of thinking and just doing it how I feel during the moment. And um, As long as I'm ahead, that's the main thing. That's what I want from this. Um, um, and I don't want to stop videos. It's just that Twitch, I'm not, upload, I'm not doing Twitch v streams every day like I was. Um, I might do a random stream during the morning before work if I have the energy and I want to. But if I'm tired and it's just I'm not got the energy like I have today for the morning videos that I've, I've done. All the morning videos that are coming up from yesterday and tomorrow and the day after and today's video. Um, all in one day. Um, and I feel like I've, got, I've had the energy throughout the day to do this. Whereas if I was doing like a Mass Effect during before work and I've just had a night shift but the day before, I think I'd probably struggle with this. I think I'd get really tired and my energy wouldn't be there to actually produce a video that people might want to listen to. <laughs> and if people don't listen to it, that's fine. <laughs> At least it's archived on here and my memories are here and I can rewatch and see what I did. Because I, I looked through my playlist and... I don't imagine anyone to get through half of the videos that I've done so far the past few months, but at least if someone comes across a series that they really like, they're more than likely to watch it all and enjoy it, and then they can move on to another channel and find something else, because I've done that a hundred times. 
Like some channels, especially smaller channels, that's where you find really fun let's plays. Not from me, like I'm not saying me, but like I always check out smaller channels because they're not the ones trying to sell you stuff every five seconds, and they're the ones that are doing this as a hobby more than a job. Whereas some bigger YouTubers, you can see them doing this as a job. They've got to do a video today. A highly edited, highly motivated, highly strung out, make it 10 minutes long at least, video every day or every other day to make their money. That They're doing it for money, which is right. This is fine. That's a job. But it feels like when you watch someone who is doing it for fun over someone that's doing it for a job, sometimes you can tell. Like some YouTubers do really well like they don't really show it too much like i recommend neebs gaming um nerd Rodic, heel versus babyface get good fox um, like their sort of channels where they you can see them like they do make a little bit of money or they do make a lot of money especially nerd Rodic with the super chats and stuff um but you can tell they're just fans still and they're doing this as a hobby and if it ends tomorrow it just ends tomorrow, that's it. That's the sort of thing um, that you get from it. But um, like some big YouTubers, like, like Mr. Beast, like someone like that, he's a massive advertiser, and that's what I see him as. Like, sure, he's doing a lot, giving money away and stuff, but he's a massive advertisement in my eyes. Like, he's just all over YouTube. Like, the other day, for some reason, YouTube signed out my YouTube account. And when you sign out of YouTube and you don't have the YouTube that you've built up, like with all your subscriptions and stuff like that, and you see YouTube as like a new person coming to the platform, it's just it's just Sideman, Mr. Beast, um, how to twerk videos. It's so fucking dis weird and wacky and such a weird place. <laughs> but until you start building up your own... Um, account like with your own subscriptions your own what videos that you watch that's the only when you're somewhat you're in your own bubble essentially that's what i'm in i'm in my own bubble of who i like and that's one thing with youtube that i love is um just essentially sure it's free content but the amount of qual the quality people put into their work and um it's such a Good platform even though there's shit on here as well there's both good and shit on here and <laughs> some most of the time you watch the shit stuff because it's a bit of satisfaction in a way because <laughs> it's like at least i'm not that bad <laughs> or that cringy or um things like that but yeah um but yeah my i'm gonna just keep up my videos as much as i can because this has been a hobby for me and um like i'll just do these on off days or these rotations by ear and I'll try and inform people the best way I can but I suppose when these come out on YouTube you won't necessarily notice anyway because by the time people probably watch the next video it probably do good having a day break I guess but um, uh, but yeah we'll, we'll have to just see and just see what happens um, but for now I think I'll wrap it up here for today and um, there won't be mass of it till not tomorrow but the day after. Um if you want to check in the morning. And um, we'll continue right where we left off. So as always, thanks for watching if you've been watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.